It's a story about lemonade. A dad and his 11-year-old son were watching a Detroit Tigers game at the ballpark. His son asked him for some lemonade, and dad went to the concession stand to buy it. All they had was Mike's hard lemonade, which was 5% alcohol. Dad, being an academic, had no idea that Mike's hard lemonade <laughs> was, <laughs> contained alcohol, so he brought it back. And the kid was drinking it, and a security guard spotted it and called the police, who called an ambulance. They rushed to the ballpark, whisked the kid to the hospital. The emergency room ascertained that the kid had no alcohol in his blood. Whew, and they were ready to let the kid go, but not so fast. The Wayne County Child Welfare Protective Agency said no, and the child was sent to a foster home for three days. At that point, can the child go home? Well, a judge said, yes, but only if the dad leaves the house and checks into a motel. After two weeks, I'm happy to report the family was reunited, but the welfare workers and the ambulance people and the judge all said the same thing. We hate to do it, but we have to follow procedure. How do things like this happen? 